Why does drinking greens make me feel like I'm like cleansing my whole body? Today I'm heading to the Gold Coast. Lang and I are doing a bit of a shopping day. I'm so excited. We're gonna go thrifting and also just like shopping in general, but I need to do my skincare, so cleanser. This is the one I've been using for the past couple of weeks. I've been using this brand of cleanser for like years, but I recently like switched to try a different cleanser and I don't know if I like it. I really can't tell. I think I might go back to my old one. I just don't know if this one is like good for my skin. You guys already know what time it is. Keto Skin Serum Time. I can take these off now. These are daily non-negotiable for me. We have the Mochi Skin Serum, which has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Leaves your skin feeling just like plump and smooth. I love this stuff. You also probably want to apply these when your face is still a little bit damp. Like you don't want to apply it to like completely dry skin because when it's a little bit damp, all of the goodness really soaks in. I'm going in with the Algae Super Serum. Again, so hydrating. I feel like this serum is so unique. It has so many ingredients that I just like don't see in other skincare products and I absolutely love it. And I feel like I can genuinely notice a difference when I don't use them because let's be real. I mean, obviously I can only speak for myself, but I definitely have days where I'm just feeling lazy or I come home late at night and I'm like washing my face and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do like any sort of extra steps. I just want to cleanse, moisturize and go to bed. And when I don't use my Kia Skin Serums, like I actually genuinely notice a difference. And also it takes like two minutes. Like it really doesn't take a long time. So I don't know why I feel like skipping over them is going to save me any time. Like I'm just being lazy. This little part of the vlog is sponsored by Keto Skin, which I am so thankful for. It is literally a dream come true to work with brands that like I use in my daily life anyway. So yes, this is sponsored, but yes, I also use these products every other day of my life as well. So if you guys want to try them out, I'll link them down below. My code is Rachel10 as always, and I genuinely can't recommend them enough. Moisturizer to finish it off. And I will see you guys when I'm at the Gold Coast. They're cute. Yeah, gorgeous. So this is the blue tablecloth I was looking at, but I think I could thrift something quite similar. A sheet. I love that. That's really cute. <gasps> Christmas stuff. <gasps> Stop. Oh, these are nice. They've got like a nice aesthetic about them. Yeah. Mm. I love all the linens as well. Oh, I love these. Whoa, they're cool. They're super cool. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah, kind of fun. Kind of so giving um, circus. Circus sheep. Circus sheep. Oh, these are really cute too. Oh, that looks really cute. Oh. Not good. Kind of like nothing. I love these yeah. because candlestick and then tea light. Oh, they have them in green too. Oh, they're nice. I love that. And these as well, the colors. Oh my gosh, the colors are really popping off. This is stunning. So pretty. I love everything. <laughs> yeah, it's all just so beautiful. It's giving reputation. Reputation party? Yeah, literally. That would be a fun party. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this. No, it's so beautiful. I love that rusty color. Mmm. They're very similar. But look, see how that's glass? So that uh, takes the stuff there. Which one do you like the look of better? I think that one. Yeah, I agree. But I think that's going to be better for my situation. I see. That was good too. That, is that gingerbread? Yeah. I feel like it's a bit too strong for me. I think I like this one. It's not Christmassy though. No, I, Christmas cookie is the one. A bit more chic? Yeah, it's quite chic. It smells good. Mmm, I do cream enjoy. and cinnamon. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. Oh, I don't. Surely mm. <laughs> I get a little gnome for my garden. Spot I think I do need these.
Guys, I don't know what is going on today, but I feel like I'm just like existing at like 70% of my, maybe even less, like 50% of my usual self, I guess. Like I'm just so tired. I'm not really feeling very good and I don't know why. So we're just still on the best weekend today. And of course it's the day where I have the longest to-do list, but you know what? That's okay. I've ticked a few things off already. I can tick some else off. Yeah, I'm just so exhausted. I think it's time for another coffee. It just hit 12, so I'm gonna take a bit of a break. it's time for another Rachel attempts to make an ice brown sugar shaken espresso at home so here is my <laughs> it always looks so dumb in a container but I don't have jars so this is like the best way the best I have and it works so if it ain't broke why fix it but this is just ice some brown sugar some cinnamon and espresso poured over that shaken can we get it in here neatly or with the ice ah. I'm scared. Oh. Nice work, team. Now we just pour some milk in. And this is the pretty part. Gorgeous. Gorge Barbie. This is beautiful to me. Taste test. Actually, cinnamon first. Because Starbucks puts a little bit on top too, I think. I haven't done this in a couple days, so I thought I would treat myself. That is 100% the closest I've gotten to the actual Starbucks one. This is phenomenal. It's not quite the same. Like I don't wanna get your hopes up too much, but it is the closest I have gotten and I am happy about that. I feel like I'm just like, da -da 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 -da, like in Mario Kart when you get, is it a mushroom that makes you really big? And then he goes, da -da 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 -da. Like that's how I feel right now, drinking my coffee. Today has been one of those days where I've changed my outfit like five times because I've been filming a bunch of things, so <laughs> ignore that. But I wanted to show you some things I've picked up over the past couple of days because I went shopping with Lang a couple of days ago and I also received a package today. So let me show you what I picked up. First things first, Christmas pajamas. How freaking fun are these guys? I am I know it's October, but I knew that if I didn't get these now, they were gonna sell out and I wanted them so badly. So I got these Christmas pajamas. This is the pattern, little gingerbread men all over them. And Lang, George, Soph and I all got matching ones, which I think is just so special and so fun. I've never done matching Christmas PJs with my friends, so. I'm very excited to be included. And I just love the pattern that we all ended up choosing. These are from Cotton On, did I mention that? Cotton On Body, technically. I got mine in an extra small because they're quite oversized and they're this beautiful like linen blend. They have so many cute designs. We just decided to go with this one because we all liked it. Obviously the shorts are just like your classic little pajama shorts and obviously linen blend is perfect for us in Australia because our Christmas is in summer. So it doesn't really make sense for us to have like thick flannelette pajamas even though those are also so cute but yeah i'm just so excited to wear those and then when lang and i went thrifting i was on the hunt specifically like the one thing actually no i had two things in mind the two things i went looking for were a red shoulder bag like a little red handbag i have a very specific idea of what i want and i've been trying to thrift one for probably a couple months now i haven't found one and i didn't find one when we were shopping the other day but i'm gonna keep looking i've also been looking on depop as well i just have such a specific idea of what i want i have found one that i really like that's like brand new but it's out of stock right now so if that comes back in stock then i might buy that but either way didn't find that when we were thrifting. But the other thing I was looking for was a blue tablecloth because we are doing a little girls night and the theme is like a blue and white kind of situation. I don't want to tell you exactly what it is. I'm hoping you guys can guess just based on that. I know some of you will kind of maybe be able to pick up on the color scheme and what I'm like referencing. But I have a little tablescape idea and I don't have a blue tablecloth and a lot of my hosting things are thrifted and I was just like, I reckon I can find a blue tablecloth and you know what? I did and it's perfect. Like it is absolutely gorgeous. It has some detailing around it as well, which I really like. And this was, I think, 
five dollars and it's just gorgeous i'm so happy with it i just knew i'd be able to find it and i did i need to give it a steam probably a wash actually as well and even just finding that would have been a very successful day because that's what i went looking for however i did walk into a store and i was looking at all the homewares and i saw some china some dinnerware and i was like this is gorgeous and i have wanted like a set of like fine china, almost like a tea party, teacup, sauces, all of that sort of stuff for a really long time. But even thrifted, they're kind of expensive, especially if you want to get like multiple sets of them. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to spend like $30 or even like $15 for each set. And I came across this set and it was $10 total $10 for everything and I literally could not believe my luck I was like Lang come look at this and she came over she's like no freaking way and I was like I know it's it's perfect it's exactly like my vibe and the exact vibe that I wanted for this and so of course I had to get it and even the ladies at the counter couldn't believe that it was on sale for $10 and I was like babes you priced it like I don't know what to tell you but they put it in this box for me. This is the pattern. It is blue and white florals. And I think it is literally my perfect tea set. So we have four saucers and four teacups. We have four bowls. I need to give these a wash as well. And then we have four dinner plates and four side plates. So truly like the whole set. Like you're absolutely joking. This is going to make the most beautiful tablescape. I cannot wait to use this. And then imagine that with the blue tablecloth. Like I wasn't even planning on using these for the blue and white event that we have coming up. And maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know yet. But like I couldn't believe my luck. $10 for all of those pieces together. No, I... <laughs> It just goes to show that if you just like wait long enough, if you're patient long enough, I really feel like you can find almost everything you're looking for at a thrift store. I've been looking since February specifically for a set like that. And like eight months later, I found it. So I'm very, very happy. And the other thing that I have to show you is an order that I made online from Adairs, which is like homewares. They do lots of bed linen and stuff like that. But I was looking again for this like blue and white event that I want to do or blue and white tablescape that I want to do. And I found these napkins and they're actually perfect. And when I got them, they're on sale. I went to go link them on my Instagram today and they're not on sale anymore. So maybe that was like a temporary thing, but I got these for like $10 per set, I think, which is pretty good for, especially for Adairs. So I got two sets because it comes with two in a pack and there are gonna be four of us at this little get together. And I just think they're so perfect. I'm so, like I can't believe I found these. They're absolutely beautiful. I love gingham. And again, with my thrifted tablecloth, like you're actually kidding. It's all coming together so, so well. And they also had the same napkins in these colorways as well. And I just thought these would be perfect for future tablescapes. I don't have anything like specifically planned for these. I mean, these would be really cute for Christmas, but I also thought that doing like a mix of these would also be really cute for Easter. Oh, guys, I love hosting. I love table linens. I love dinnerware. Like it's all just so exciting to me. Isn't it just so beautiful? I can't wait to add these to my collection and utilize them in tablescapes. Like it's gonna all come together so beautifully. And I'm so happy. But that's the shopping I've done this week. The damage I've done this week. Oh, I actually forgot to show you. I also thrifted this tiny little dish that has these painted blue flowers on it for $2. And it was so cute. We went thrifting at the Gold Coast. And we did that strip in Palm Beach. And there's a Vinnie's, a Lifeline, and like a vintage store all on the same block. I don't know what the street is called. But if you look up like Vinnie's or Lifeline, Palm Beach, I'm sure you can find it. And I just like love thrifting when there's like multiple in walking distance from one another. Like it's just the best thing ever. So definitely recommend. <laughs> Oh, I got it. 
Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Look at that. It's delicious. Like carrot cake, but like banana bread. You're so right. You're so right. That is delicious. Oh my gosh, that's such an exciting discovery. Hopefully, we haven't had this. And every single time, I'm like, oh, it looks good. had such a nice day with surf today at Nodo. I always forget that Nodo is like a Brisbane thing. I don't understand why they haven't like extended because I feel like they're so popular in Brisbane. I'm like, why would you not expand? We need Nodos in the rest of Queensland, the rest of Australia, across the world. Like, I love it. If you guys don't know what Nodo is, it's just a gluten-free cafe. I'm not even gluten-free, but I literally love everything that they have there. And I don't know, it's just like the perfect vibe. They're also quite famous for their donuts, or at least like quite well known for their donuts. And guys, the donuts are so good. Very like dense, probably more like cakey rather than spongy maybe. I don't know if I'm the best person to describe them, but I'm on a mission to slowly try every flavor they have, which is kind of impossible because they kind of always switch things up or like have seasonal flavors. So I won't be able to do it completely, but I want to at least try all of their like signature ones. And I'm on my way. I think my two favorites, which actually I just tried a new one today and it literally jumped right to the top of my favorites list and it is the breakfast donut. I think that's what it's called. And the reason I didn't try that one for so long because I was like the breakfast donut, like what does that even mean? And like, I don't know, it just didn't sound good to me. But so many people have been like, Rachel, you need to try the breakfast donut. The breakfast donut is my favorite. And I'm like, okay, I've been convinced. And I tried it today and it was literally insane. And I made Soph try it too, because she hadn't tried it. And we were both like, what the heck? It's so good. But it's like banana bread with some maple, some cream cheese frosting, some pecans on top. Like, oh my gosh, it is so good. But then apart from that one, my other favorite is the beetroot blackout, which is like, it kind of tastes like Woolies mud cake, which is incredible but like gluten-free and in my brain it's healthy i know it's not but in my brain it's healthy i don't think i've tried any flavors that i don't like but those are definitely like easily my two favorites but anyway i'm in bed now it is like almost 9 p.m i'm gonna read my book and probably finish watching heather's reading vlog i love heather she's the best i'll link her down below if you don't watch her her reading vlogs are literally my favorite thing in the world she is just like so fun to watch i feel like most of you probably already know her but if you don't please go watch her. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Skateboard when I passed your house, it's like I couldn't breathe. Okay, wow. those lyrics do make sense on a skateboard. Yeah. Betty, I won't make some shit. It's karaoke here today. We're doing some Kindle decorating. Do we? Do we like it? I think it's really cute. Is it a bit rogue? Safety first, please. Georgia Louise. Put yeah. <laughs> the scissors down. Cut the middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it looks like <laughs> Wait, I want to show you vlog the final product. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's sorry. 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 so long. I don't have much blue <laughs> There is some shoot happening today. Hi, Sunny. Yeah. We haven't said hi to you yet. Welcome. Home. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> wow, she's a host. Look at that. That's so fun. This oh is from anthropology. Wow. Oh. How'd you go? Um. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> now that you've asked, um, what do you think? I think it's really cute. I'm just concerned it's a bit too wordy. No, I don't think I it know. is. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't provide me any small stick. <laughs> I gifted you out of the goodness of my heart and you're critiquing me. Hashtag gifted. <laughs>
So obviously yesterday I was hanging out with the girls and we ended up going shopping and we walked into Dimmix and guys I was not planning on buying anything and then I saw this which is a hardcover of Happy Place but not only that sprayed ombre edges you're actually kidding so obviously I had to get it and this was also like really not expensive for a like special edition or like even a hardcover in Australia hardcovers are so expensive this was $39.99 I'm pretty sure this is like a Dimmix exclusive situation they have a bunch of really cool editions at the moment but I absolutely had to get it and I'm just putting it facing outwards on my shelf my little emily henry area honestly i did have these here but i now don't have space for them so i'm not really sure how to deal with that but i still think it looks very cute i can't get over this i don't really have any sort of i have a couple books with sprayed edges but they're all like the one color like i have this one that has black sprayed edges that actually might be the only one now i have this one and i'm just so obsessed i love it so much so i have my sprayed edges i have my us hardback and then i have my uk paperback and this one is signed which is so special. Absolutely love all of my editions and they are just so special to me. Happy Place is one of my favorite books ever, so I'm very happy to have all of these. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that before I ended off the vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.